I want to ask you real quick about the clip we showed of President Biden uh, seemingly blaming Netanyahu for not doing enough. But would you say that the U.S. is not doing enough? What have you seen from the international community? Are they doing enough? So clearly not, because on 10-7, 251 people were abducted. And since 10-8, not one, not one international institution like the U.N. or all of its subsidiary organizations, mm -hmm. not even the Red Cross, has done their job to ensure, not from visitation rights, from the uh, imperative to call for the immediate release, unconditional release of 251 hostages mm -hmm. held in standing violation of law and morality. And not one country has actually stepped up and applied the pressure, not asking for more concessions by the state of Israel, but for consequences by the countries harboring terrorists, enabling terrorists, organizations right, like UNRWA right. fueling that terror. Yeah. And clearly, this is a failure of the international community. Mikael, let me just, I, I want to ask you about an area where you are uh, an expert, and that is anti-Semitism, um, with everything going on. Um, so you got off the plane, and you arrived in, in New York City, and I, I'm hoping you didn't see what was going on yesterday on Labor Day here in Manhattan, in major cities primarily run by Democrats throughout this country. The estimate is 7,000 uh, pro-Palestinian protesters. We're showing some of that on the screen. This, by the way, is just a few blocks from where our studios are here in Midtown. Um, the uh, Death to Israel signs, mm -hmm. um, this is in the U.S., uh, Kamala Harris, you know, this is a political issue. It's a cudgel for Kamala Harris because she doesn't want to look weak to the pro-Palestinian crowd, but she also can't look weak to the pro-Israel crowd. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm just wondering what you make of what's going on here on the streets in the U.S. And I'll just add to that 62 days away from a really important election. But when I look at this, um, are, are you wondering, it, it almost seems to me like Hamas is winning the messaging war right now here in the U.S. when you see images like that? I want to make very clear. These are not pro-Palestinian protests. These are anti-Israel, anti-American protests. They say so themselves. Would you add pro-Hamas to they, that? Absolutely. They okay. carry Hamas flags. They were carrying Hamas flags yesterday. They, you just have to listen to what it is that they say and they chant from the river to the sea, the call to annihilate the state of Israel. The Hamas charter, Hamas is a designated terror organization right here in the United States, yeah. which calls for the annihilation of the state of Israel from the river to the sea being chanted and uh, uh, all means necessary, all means necessary include what we saw not only on 10-7, the rape and the abduction and the burning, but the execution that as they're walking in the streets of New York City, we were burying the six hostages that were executed at point blank in the back, back of the head. But I want to make very, very clear. The very same anti-Semitism mm -hmm. that fueled the atrocities, the war crimes, the crimes against humanity perpetrated on 10-7, which, like 9-11, was the attack of barbarism on civilization. Mm -hmm. That very same anti-Semitism fuels the responses to the atrocities of 10-7 and to the execution of six hostages yesterday. That very same anti-Semitism in the strain that I would call in what is an ever-mutating virus, which anti-Semitism is, anti-Zionism that denies Israel's very right to exist. The fact that that very same anti-Semitism led to responses of silence, of denial, of justification, and of attack of Jews around the world right here this morning on the subway. Yeah. Somebody wearing a kippah is attacked and called a Zion-Nazi. The fact that there has been this mainstreaming, legitimizing of this strain of anti-Semitism that I've called anti-Zionism, and there is a definition for anti-Semitism, the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition, all spaces and places committed to combating anti-Semitism, including the White House strategy, have to be utilizing the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition. Of course. Yeah. It's of the course. only yeah. one and, that and will Mikhail, be And, Mikhail, I just want to clear it. for the audience. So mm -hmm. from the river to the sea, that's the Jordan River, and to the sea would be mm -hmm. the Mediterranean Sea, and that would mean the eradication the of, entire of Israel. State. Okay. Look at the all, all of Israel. Uh, did you mean to say sanction Turkey, which is a NATO country? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. The understanding that Turkey, the understanding that Qatar actually cast as the honest broker, literally our non-member non ally like of NATO, but, left, but and yep. absolutely are housing Hamas leadership. And we have cast them as an honest broker. There is yeah. international accountability that needs to be placed by countries like the United States and all mm. democracies that are committed to these fun fundamental values, foundational principles of international law and human rights that have been consistently violated, as opposed to what we've seen in the streets, which is, which is an Orwellian inversion that speaks in the name of progress, actually emboldening terror.